Hey everyone, Mark Buffa here, creator of Spectre Pro Shop software. And in this video, we're gonna talk about my favorite settings in Spectre. All right, so Spectre's been around now for over five years in the marketplace. It's amazing to just think of that. One of the reasons why we built Spectre was not only to make it easier in our Pro Shop and also easier for me when I'm teaching the classes, but also to make it quicker for you when doing your data entry. So a lot of bowling Pro Shops would usually do their data entry at night or over weekends or, or downtime. But the whole idea with having tablet next to you at the drill press, at the ready, allowing you to do it right on the spot when you're taking your measurements is so you don't have to do it after hours. So a lot of this came with also the fact that in the settings, we have a lot of things that make the data entry process a little bit quicker. So like I said, let's go through my top three features in Spectre to make my personal flow when taking measurements a little bit quicker. Okay, so first off, let's go here into the settings and let's take a look. So the first one is going to be the auto suggestions. One of which that we that I use the most and the one that was a little bit more frustrating to me was always having to look up the pitch based on the chart. So we all know the chart, we all learned it. Basically here in Spectre, if you turn this pitch suggestion on, it will offer that as soon as you populate a flexibility and a span measurement, it'll suggest to you a pitch. You can always change it, but that to me is a huge plus. All right, so now my second favorite feature of Spectre Pro Shop software is in regards to the pitches, okay? So when I'm teaching some new ball drillers and also when I'm you know, training some new staff here in our Pro Shop, I always found it difficult to show them or to explain to them how to go left, how to go right, how to go forward, how to go reverse, demystify some of that. So again, baked into Spectre, we added something in the settings to make that a little bit simpler. Also on top of that, a lot of the digital readouts now, especially if you get the newer generation ones, they're always in thousands. And you know, when you're talking to someone who's just starting out, for them to know that 1 8 is 0 0.125, not everyone's gonna know that off the top of their head, especially if you go down to the 16th. So there's some settings here in Spectre that can make all of that just so much easier. So if we go here into our settings, first off, you wanna display your decimals. You wanna, you wanna display this in thousands and not in fractions. So that's gonna be your first setting that you're gonna to wanna to change. And then second here in your drill push calibration, if you're using the oval calculator for Spectre, I highly suggest that you check these two here. Is your machine right pitch positive and thumb forward positive, yes or no? So answer those questions. And then lastly here, display the plus minus in the pitch tiles, yes. So again, if we go back to our, our bowler here, we will see here in the thumb, it says negative 375. So if I set everything correctly in my settings, it makes it very easy for anybody to know, if, you know, is it displaying negative or positive on my digital readout? So I feel like this is a really, really neat addition that we made to Spectre Cloud and is something that can easily alleviate a lot of errors for from the novice to the pro ball driller because when we're busy in our pro shop, sometimes we do make a directional mistake and this can kind of uh, alleviate some of that. And my third favorite setting in Spectre Cloud is definitely going to be the oval calculator. This should be the number one one, but I wanted to start off with some of the easier ones. The oval calculator is the root of the reason why we developed Spectre, just to make things a lot easier for us to do the math when cutting an oval. And honestly, it is probably the question I get the most in the emails is, how do you do it? My question back to them most of the time is how do you do it? So first off, head over to SpectreBowling.com, go to the glossary up in the menu and click the thumbhole preferences there and you'll see a PDF guide that will explain the four different case scenarios on how you set up your settings in Spectre to get the desired outcome. So we use trigonometry to build the oval and do the cuts. Now we just need to tell Spectre how we like to see them. So again, Going into the settings in the thumbhole preferences section, if you click on the title here, it'll take you to that glossary item. So I'll do that right now. So here we see there, and here's that PDF file. So you could easily look at that. What's my default hole type? I wanna do ovals. I would say about 90% of the time I'm doing ovals for somebody here in my pro shop. Next, initial pitch inside the total oval. Do you want it on the edge? So basically if you have a quarter reverse, do you want it at the top edge of the hole or do you want it in the middle of the hole? So this is where you're gonna answer that question. Next, the oval width calculator. Do you want to display as a difference? So let's say, do you want to do like a 90,000th 
oval at 30 degrees or do you want to be able to do it with drill bit sizes? So this is going to be that toggle there. I like using drill bit sizes since I use a BT ball fitter to do my fitting. I don't use a caliper most of the time. So again, if you use a caliper, put this. If not, use that. And then lastly, which is a huge addition that I find that we made to the oval calculator, is to add the thumb pitch to the oval calculation. So basically, instead of starting at zero, zero, where you would have to reinitialize your digital readouts every time, if you're, again, a quarter reverse on the thumb, that would be your starting point, and it basically adds that to the math. So yes or no to that. Lastly, also, depending on how you cut your ovals, do you do them in each direction? So do you move the table horizontally and vertically? Do you move it just horizontally using an ovalmatic jig? Same thing with vertical. Basically, these are the same, just whichever axis you're gonna turn it on. Or you can actually turn off the oval calculator and just pop things in manually. And lastly, a, a new addition of the last month here is to flip the vertical and horizontal cuts in the way that they're displayed. So the machines you will usually ship with X and Y, so basically your horizontal and your vertical, one on top of each other. But we always displayed Spectre with vertical horizontal. So if you don't want to change the way that it's displayed on your, on your digital readouts, just change the way it's displayed here in Spectre. So this section here, I know this was a long-winded one. This thumbhole preferences, we really spent a lot of time on this and it definitely is my favorite setting in Spectre. So those were my favorite settings in Spectre Cloud. I hope that this sheds some light maybe on something that you don't use in Spectre. Again, if you go into the settings section, there's a video right here at the top. It says here, need help, watch our tutorial videos. Watch that, it'll shed some light on it. It's a little bit of a long-winded video, but it's definitely worth the time. Please write us at spectrebowling.com. There's the contact page there. You can write us. We try to respond as quickly as possible. You can also reach us on all our social media platforms. And I would like to know down in the comments here on YouTube, what's one of your favorite settings in Spectre Cloud? So let us know down below. Look forward to seeing your comments. And again, thank you for using Spectre, the Pro Shop app, if you're still using the app, or if you migrate it to Spectre Cloud, cloud.spectrebowling.com, sign up today. Thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you guys in the next video.